Let's begin with the fourth thread stitch. This stitch is most often used for seams in stretch garments like t-shirts and sweatshirts, and for applying ribbing and elastic. It can also be used as a seam on light to medium weight woven fabrics. The fourth thread stitch consists of two looper threads and two needle threads. The loopers are threaded first and the needles are always threaded last. It is important that the machine is correctly threaded or it will not stitch. Raise the presser foot. To thread the loopers, turn the hand wheel so that the loopers are positioned like this. The upper looper should always be threaded first. Place the thread spool on the thread stand, then bring the thread up and through the guide on the thread mast. Place it into the guide on top of the machine. Hold the thread and then firmly place it into the tension disc. After placing the thread behind this guide, follow the thread path indicated by the red dotted markings. Then thread the eye of the upper looper. If it's easier, use the tweezers from your accessory kit to thread the looper's eye. Next, thread the lower looper. Place the thread spool on the thread stand, then bring the thread up and through the guide on the thread mast. Now place it into the guide on top of the machine. Pull the thread firmly into the tension disc. After placing the thread behind this guide, follow the thread path indicated by the gold dotted markings. The thread is guided next into a slot at the left side of the looper's arm. But to do this, you must first bring the thread around to the back side of the looper. Hold the thread firmly toward you and then slide it to the left until it drops into the slot on the looper arm. Now thread the eye of the lower looper, making sure that the thread tail lays over the upper looper. This is very important because if the lower looper thread is not placed over the upper looper, the threads will tangle and the machine will not stitch. The needles are always threaded last, after the loopers are threaded. Place each thread in its corresponding thread guide on the thread mast. The right needle thread is threaded through the green tension disc behind the guides below the disc, then over the green dot on the take-up lever, and then behind the thread guide above the needle. Now thread the right needle. The left needle thread is threaded through the blue tension disc, behind the guides below the disc, then over the take-up lever area. Place it in the slot between the blue dot and the green dot. Place the thread behind the guide above the needle. Now thread the left needle. Set the lower blade in regular sewing position. Bring both needle threads, as well as both looper threads, under the presser foot and toward the back of the machine. 